Omni movement is the best iteration of Call of Duty gameplay styles. It's like too much to... It's agree, and I'm gonna tell you why I agree with it, because I was so nasty at AW, because I could go. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna, <sighs> too early. He's yeah, I'm gonna shit. disagree. Wait, uh, I thought this was disagree over here. Are we forgetting the jetpack era? Like, yeah, that's exactly Omni what movement's said, cool, AW. but. Are we forgetting World War II? Are we forgetting the jetpack era? World War II. World War II. Two. Two. Wait, World War II? Wait, wasn't that BOTG? Boots on the ground? I'm gonna disagree. I think jetpacks are still the best movement iteration that Call of Duty has ever seen. This is agree over here. No, I disagree, because he said Omni Movement's the best iteration of... You said it's the best iteration, right? Yeah, I disagree. I think jetpacks are. It's just too early to tell for me. Yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm there with Zen. We gotta like, play the game more. Yeah, that's fair, too. I agree, because I think playing the game is too smooth, and I feel like it should always be, always be in Call of Duty. That's just, my, that's just my take. I feel like it's way too smooth, and I feel like 2024, like we should have had this like five years ago. Yeah. That's my take. Karma's uh, neutral, on, obviously, because he doesn't give a fuck what you put in front of him. He's going to dominate regardless. <laughs> I feel like, listen, I like it, but I don't know. I, I don't feel like it is super smooth. I feel like really? the jetpacks were like super smooth. So you disagree? Come on. Well, I don't it's know a beta. It's a beta. Come on, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Listen, yeah. I mean, leave me on an island over here. I enjoyed like diving around, moving all these directions. Honestly, I spent like eight hours doing that, and that's all I did, and I didn't play it again. But I don't know. It's cool, but I don't. I don't think it's the best. But I don't think it's the worst. So I'm neutral. in the middle. All right. I'm neutral because all, right. all the Black Ops Three wall running as well. Yeah, the yeah. G slides. Ah! But the, the hops, question was, is other? it the best? That's why I'm okay. Yeah, yeah. All good. I might. Right. I might fully disagree. No, it's all good. Oh no, I'm my god. Okay. Thank god. god. I got somebody. Yeah, you know, that took some because when you say it out loud, yeah. yeah. When you say yeah. it out loud, you break it down. Yeah. Like, <laughs> See, there's the people that, that understand their position in life at all times and is like confident enough to say, you know what, yes. The neutral people, I can't be, get behind because they, they're wishy-washy. You can't get nowhere. No, I just, I, I, I need more information. <laughs> did, you, did you even play? What? <laughs> did you even play? The Black Ops 6 beta? Yeah. Three games no, and all three. I did, oh, all I God, did, dude. he was running around like this. He didn't no. slide. He didn't uh, that's he not didn't true. That's way. not true. Don't play my movement, David. Don't play my movement. And I know your ass wasn't sniping. Call of Duty can survive without content creators and pro players. What? Oh, yeah. oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah. We agree. And you want me to tell you why I agree? Because there's way more people that play it casually than people work in the industry. So yes. Yeah, yes. we're the, we're definitely the like the minority in the yeah. in the competitive space. Call of Duty's worldwide, so that's a that's a tough one. Worldwide. Agree with that. We're all on the same page with that one. Call of Duty would be better if it had the same 16 maps every year, but they're the best 16 maps of all time. Ooh. Oh my God, you look at CSGO. Yeah. Oh. Oh. I was about to go no. And then he was said, about to yeah, go no. Yeah. Like the yeah. best maps. Nah, the end yeah. was like. I agree, but. Well, the reason why I agree is in this scenario, are the new maps that are, are there no new maps being brought out? No. No, they're always innovating, and then we get to replace uh, The common sense thing would be in this situation is that ever. So if there's a map that comes along next year that is just one of the ones that just wow you, the other thing to consider is the fact that we are making a conscious decision to say if it's the best maps, it also matches the movement and the speed of the game expanded or, or retracted, right? We're also pretty much all thinking competitively, though, I feel like. Because, like, if you're, like, a... Yeah. Duh. You've been playing 10 years casually, right? You come home from work, you play in campaign or whatever, you might want the new maps. Yeah. So yeah. I feel like selfishly, from mostly competitive minds, it's like, we would choose the better maps, but maybe a casual gamer might be standing over there. Well, I'm also going to use a, just an example from at least the CDL era. Look at Cold War. Like, Cold War, like, literally the best maps on Cold War were the old maps. So I feel like competitively... Whoa. Garrison, Moscow. No. They were good maps, but like, dude, no. you're saying raids. They were sure the better. Garrison okay, was horrible. I think Garrison was, Garrison was trolling. Moscow was a good map. Moscow was good. Moscow, Moscow was good. Gary was horrible. Checkmate was Gary a good Search, map. remember that shit? I know. Oh, there's there's no way Gary Search was, was good. Good. Gary Search was Gary one of the worst. Cool. It was just like, I don't know. It, Garrison it was, was so compressed. There was nothing you could do. Moscow was good. I fucking dominated that map. Skill based matchmaking is good for Call of Duty. Was this agree? Was oh, this agree over here? Oh, I hate this. I hate you to do it. You are a loser. Good. What do you mean? I think you are. I think uh, I'm gonna just say this: as a YouTube person that used to pub stomp all yes. the time, drop yeah. bombs, I hate it. Yeah. But overall, for the game, I mean, it definitely helps with player retention. Like, 
If you're a 40 year old dad and you get back and you spawn into any of us, you're like, what the fuck? I'm getting off. If that was the case, the old games wouldn't be as popular as they were if everyone was discouraged like that. You got to play the best to be the best. You got to get better. Exactly. They, wait, they so said those games wait, had wait, 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 I hate skill based matchmaking. I'm a just, oh, then you're on the wrong side then. Yeah, I, you're over here. But I think it's good for COD because oh, yeah, 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 it, yeah. It, the player base, Listen. It, people are going to get off. If I play it and I'm in a match where I'm dominating, as it usually used to happen, I would rather play against people that I'm always losing, because then I, I can I can improve. What was someone who's less skilled than me gonna teach me? Nothing. But you're I just gonna to... you're just gonna leave the game and no, join no, a new no, one. No, That's all never, you're do. I've never left the game it in my life. Don't Damon. Matter. Damon, it literally don't I've matter. never left a fucking game in my oh, okay. fucking life. Damon. Damon. But here's here's the misconception. Just because there wasn't skill base back then, doesn't mean you weren't getting in sweaty lobbies. It was just oh. more random. You were still having good lobbies and you were having not so good lobbies. Dude, like how do you think Pam was able to get all of those fucking montages, man? Because he was True. playing p- fucking sniper lobbies. It's all, it's all <laughs> yeah, sniper all right, lobbies. All right. Sniper okay. lobbies. All right, reset, 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 reset. Listen, I hate skill, baby. Don't be under the bus. I hate it. <laughs> Call of Duty is the greatest video game franchise of all time. Mm. Wait, what was it? Mm. Oh, Sly, Sly, Listen, Sly, Sly Cooper look- exists. Uh, actually, Wait, what was the question? I'm gonna say yes to be. There's so many godlike games. There's so many. Games. There's so ever. many godlike games. Call, Call of Duty, Duty is. What is do you guys think? Super Mario Brothers? No, it is the most. Uh, actually, Mario's up there. There's too many no, franchises. No no, what do you mean, dude? Minecraft. Minecraft. League. Minecraft. Yeah, this League. Is League. League was the first Bro, game. Bro, Warcraft, dude. There's so many godlike games. Bro, franchise. League of Legends is one game. Call of Duty is a franchise. It's had so many iterations where it advances and no, changes. League, League, League is, is a franchise. Yeah, but you can't compare like. So we literally oh, Counter Strike, like, dude, there's so many. Like, Call of Duty's up there, but it, it it's not the best. For, for, for me, it's because you guys missed the golden era. Call of Duty Two into Call of Duty Four was such a magical time. I played COD Four. You back will then, never experience that. Back and then when COD was war, king, oh, what? Back when COD was king, like our high school days or like elementary days, it was unmatched. As there was then, no competition. Yeah. There was no Fortnite. It was only Call of Duty, and everybody loved it. Mm. Mm-hmm. Classic prestige, zombies. Halo, Halo might have had some comp. Halo. Back then. No, Halo was big. Halo was big, but Halo might have been some comp. Not going. Ah, uh, yeah. You could say maybe not competitive. Like I'm telling you right now, you say if, a lot if, of things. You if you so experience things, what the game of HQ into Jane was like with all the Nate spots, this guy's talking <laughs> about too, 12 bro. years ago. We can't even take this. Have you to HQ on either Dan? I can't relate to God. Elevator glitches. I can't relate to God too. Video games should have microtransactions. Yes, duh, of course. Yeah. Please, sure to have micro please let me spend. And, and oh, please yeah. let me sure. customize what I want to customize, how yeah. I want to customize it. Please. Yeah, I'm on. I'm on board with that. I think please. some. I think Gotta some publishers drippy. really push it a bit, but it depends. I do think yeah, it's no, because they're not forcing you to buy it. Yeah, but you know how it works. No, I, I know. I don't know how it works. You, how see does that, it work? you see that shiny item and you need it. Yeah. Okay. You yeah. That's that. what I'm saying. Yeah. Please. Please. The, the 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 quicker that we can get Call of Duty to realize that this is not no longer an immersive. Uh, game or something that takes you and transports you to World War II. I mean, it's a it's, it's a sport now. Okay, gosh darn it. I agree heavily as long as it's not pay to win stuff. Like there, oh, there's a couple things that have come out in Call of Duty. Like the most recent one uh, was the the Bone Collector. I think blueprint on the DG58, and you could literally see through the iron sights. You're a nerd. Huh? <laughs> what is that? I didn't even know what that gun is. It was like during it was like this it was this year during like Warzone it came out and everyone's like, yo, you gotta buy this. It makes it easier to see through your iron sight. What did you know at like uh, pay to win shit? At champs everybody ran the rival that it had like eyes the on it. The eyes on it, it, yep. It apparently had like no visual recoil. That's why everybody ran the rival that yep. rival. And you had to Dude, buy it. It took you us like a whole yeah. day to figure out how to get it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the only account. Like it, it, it was a scrimmage it. until he got it. Oh, like, okay. Actually, yeah. But we were playing people just like they all have the eyes. Why does everyone have the eyes? Yeah. Man, so like, that is kind of. Well, I agree with that. No pay to win. No pay to win. Definitely shit. needs microtransactions. But cosmetics and and cool things, no no big deal. Without the addition of Warzone, Call of Duty would be dead. Mm. Hell no. Warzone made it all worse. I'm a Warzone, <laughs> hater. I'm a Warzone <laughs> hater. I'm not gonna lie. We got bullet travel time, a hundred attachments. I liked. I don't mind any of that. I don't, but I don't. I, I mean, I, Call of Duty was Call of Duty and has been Call of Duty. Uh, up until look how long it's been around for 14 years before Warzone came out. I think Warzone splintered the the multiplayer community. I mean, just now again, the game is different. People I'm gonna go neutral Warzone, actually. It's just no, I'm stepping in this for no, this. I'm no, going neutral. I'm changing up. They had to adapt. Yeah, Fortnite, Call of Duty Apex. Not of course, no, yeah, absolutely not. But COD, COD would not be dead. It wouldn't be as. I think Warzone's important to compete with of other course, games. Of course, sure. So I'm neutral on it. Sniping in Call of Duty takes no skill. <laughs> no, I disagree with that. 
Ah! <laughs> In the back. There he goes. Kenny. 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 What do we say? Kenny. Kenny. What's up, uh, man? What the hell? Uh, oh, dude. Listen. Damon, what are you doing? Stand what up. Are you what are you doing? Stand up. Listen, I... I was dying to some noobs in those creator tournaments <laughs> last year with the snipers. That's a good point. See? They were insane. But I think I think the no auto aim ones like BO4, I think BO3. Those are, BO3. I agree. Yeah, mm. I think those are hard. Mm. I think no like, aim assist, it has to be no aim assist. I think yeah. no aim assist, I yeah, mean, I dude, I, I get the hard scope lock. I agree locked when in. they started putting all like the That's precision aim assist and like, you know. Yeah. The, I know you guys started talking about that when you guys do your dead zones, you guys look at your uh, dynamics, uh, the, your, your oil changes, your <laughs> fucking whatever the fuck it is that you guys do. All this like off center bullshit, like the spider web. I play standard. Can't believe you, Damon. Aim assist is overpowered and takes significantly less skill. Of course. Agree. Dynamic. A lot of people started shooting back when that came what out. What did I just yeah. say? A lot of people started shooting back when Dynamic came out. Real Call of Duty players play standard. Yep. I used standard in Cold War. Me and Bruce both used it. We I were like, yo, what Vanguard the fuck too. are we doing? <laughs> <laughs> we were like, what are we doing, bro? We got to get on dynamic now. now I'm not going to lie. I liked, I liked Vanguard standard, though, because I like to be whippy. And I feel yes. like the dynamic be too like heavy sometimes. But Really? I feel like it's faster to be like... I was on dynamic. Really? That yeah, I feel I like feel dynamic like, like accelerates. Well, I'm saying I like to just like whip around, like in gen just like snapping around. I feel uh -huh. like dynamic slows down once you get to them. Yeah. But like standard is kind of like not as sticky once you get on them. Got Which, you. Yeah, that makes sense. To me, you got to ask AG how many times he, he get on standard yeah. and scrims. Bro, I'm on standard. What is going on? <laughs> I can't shoot. I can't aim. He go like three maps. People like, are what shooting going nowadays. On? People are shooting. Everyone <laughs> shooting. Everyone <laughs> shooting. Call of Duty peaked in 2012. Well, what game was that? BO2. Black Ops 2? No. Call of Duty peaked in 2012. I'm going to no. stay, stay right here. Yeah, yeah I'm going to stay neutral on this one. Yeah. Actually, because there's an argument. Damn. I'll agree. Did you? No. Only reason I'll agree because I feel like Hardpoint is like the Call of Duty staple now. And that's, the, that's like the first Hardpoint game. That's True. just my take. That's fair. Maps, For competitive were, maps were great. Is. I'm not even like a BO2. Like I'm not, I, I'm like a hater on BO2. I'm not really like that keen of it, so but. Bizarre. It depends what we're talking I about too. I think Hardpoint is one of my favorites. If we're talking about strictly competitively, I would probably agree. No, but well, if we're talking you... about the broad spectrum of what Call of Duty is, I would, I would, okay. I would stay neutral. Okay, look, if do that, yes. Like, I, what, what are we doing? Are we, are we talking about peak yeah. viewership and attendance? Or are we talking about yeah. peak competition? Black Ops Two was the most, most content. Hype. What I think M the OG MW Three was the best pub game I ever played. I, I, I will agree that it, it was insane. The best pub game I've ever played. In my I've life. never played pub. I, I wish mean, that game had a bigger GB competitive. Moabs, MP7, Silence, Lies. Rapid Fire. When the, when I remember the your MW Three clips. Yeah, but that was literally just to get something out the door. What I played for fun was GB. You're just I, moving. I only play that for work. You were in the team touches back Yes, then. for work. Okay. But for fun, for I never work. play no fucking hey, You're in the team touches. You never play no <laughs> punts, man. The Skype chats, all of them. No, I was not in Skype chats. No, no, no. Now you're woofing. Now you're woofing. Now you're woofing. Now you fucking woofing. I was there. I was there. The Optic Dynasty is the best team to ever play competitive Call of Duty. I mean. I'm what the kidding. fuck are you doing? <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. I'm just kidding, man. Zinny. Oh. No, I'm just playing. No, 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 you guys are hilarious. <laughs> you guys are so funny. Top Warzone pros are better than a majority of the CDL. Well, well majority of the CDL. Majority, majority is crazy. Majority is no, crazy. Majority is crazy, but. Come on, bro. Majority is crazy. There might be a few, you yeah. know? I've they seen, can listen, shoot. I've they seen. Can they can shoot. I've seen people like Symphony Don't say they can shoot. And play, and play those, so I don't know. My fault, David. Some players could compete. Some. But not that's what I'm saying. Majority is better than the majority. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hate that. I'm gonna, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna go over here because it's just like a wild statement. But if you went accurately, like, you know, the top one percent in Warzone are better than the top than the bottom one percent in, in in pros, then that, we have an we have a massive like people, argument. There's five no Warzone players right now that I think could come into the CDL and be decent. No need to name them. All right, next. <laughs> no, no. You said, no need to name no. them. You don't think there's five? No. They no. could be decent. I think decent, but like no. decent in the Are they going to make a wave, but though? But better than, no, the, better the, than worst, the bottom 1%? You know, the worst argument is... Yeah, I mean, I, yeah, but... Listen, they're good. They're, like, the best at what they do. But I hate the argument will, like, come on over to Warzone and do <laughs> nah. it. No one wants to play that shit. <laughs> 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 Nobody wants to go play that. Somebody already did. If I was did. good at Call of Duty... If I was good at Call of Duty... If I was really good at Call of Duty, 
I'm trying to be CDL pro, not Warzone. If you want to do that, go pub stomp. If I was, I, I, stomp. I'd be, I'd be throwing that not all the time. Like, I did it. I went. I saw I conquered, and it was just not my thing. There's just a difference. CDL pros would be top ten Warzone players if they wanted to. Yeah, of course. Yes, bro. Top ten? Yes. There was one it. team running the show. It also depends. Damn what it keeps it fucking real. Oh, there. Oh, <laughs> Kenny had a foot in. It's because like <laughs> he got one foot I'm in. thinking about. I don't know. It's, I, I would agree. Like, I'm, like, neutral, because, like, what I watched this weekend and the guys who won, like, they're calling people ass, they might actually be right. Like, I saw people make some bonehead plays. I don't know the damn thing about Warzone. Pretty, there's only smoke, three people, smoke, so I feel like smoke, top ten is kind of... Smoke, oh, smoke, Yeah, they smoke, stand, smoke, in, stand smoke, in smokes smoke, and shoot through yeah. smokes. Okay, yeah, I, that I didn't know it was that bad. That's an issue in competitive, why they aren't used, and then you get it in Warzone, and, like, you, like with, without the, uh, the highlighters, bro, you just think everyone's cheating the whole time. Like watching the POV was awful. Let's see, and yeah. smokes all well, day. Well, the the meta in Warzone, you literally once yeah. there's a smoke, you try to live ping them before the smoke blooms, so you can just shoot through the, trace through the, the smoke. Yeah. And, and I think, I think one ping. person just runs combat scout. And that so too. They, yeah, that's once true. he's tagged, you see him. I didn't yeah. even know com you combat. You got bunker busters and shit. I don't know what's going thing. on. Combat, in Warzone. What's called? combat scout. Combat scout. Jetpack movement is overhyped. Mm, uh, what are we saying here? No. Nah. Disagree, Ooh. man. That shit was fucking oh, overhyped. I'm, I'm nah. <laughs> I was tripping. I was tripping for a second. I love that. This kind of goes hand in hand with the one earlier. It's like jetpacks were, in my opinion, the highest skill gap ever. Big part of that's because the movement was it. just so you know. Crazy. Think and it was about fluid that. too. It was fluid. It was fluid. It felt good. It wasn't clunky. Like they they did it well. Listen, I will say though, I don't like wall running, but I, I think jetpacks is. <laughs> I feel like wall running, sh like jumping over a building and shooting over it was kind of like crazy. That was, that that was, was BO3. That but BO3 in BO3, three, was, luckily, was like, people didn't really abuse it. Like if, if there was two some years people. of BO3, some people like were better at it, but if people if weren't like super right abused, now, oh, it would be insane. insane. Yeah. It would be insane. Well, like, like LG was cringe. All they did was jump over the walls on fringe. That's all they did. But, but yeah. you have to hit, but you have to hit those shots. Like It wasn't easy to fucking climb on the tree all the way at the top and then snipe someone. That's true. You know what I'm saying? Uh, like it took true. it took a little bit of skill. Pick and it wasn't ban just... though. Pick and ban, dude. Awful. Bo three. Awful. Oh my god, that year. If pick that year ban. had two hard points and no pick and ban, dude, I don't think always, we would have lost. People always say the that it's so good. I'm like, dude, you were us and you didn't play all these teams. Every time we played, after burners gone, dude. grips are gone. Like we played the after worst After burner gone, crazy. We played CTF after and up like, no gone, two crazy. HPs. I don't think we would have lost if it was two HPs, no pick. People ban blast suppressor. It would have been. We would have ran every topics. time. We we never played a normal oh, game dude. in the season. At champs in, in first, uh, against uh, Envy at champs, like dude, the, the 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 maps that we were or the guns we were We're using champs, were bro. I'm using the the XR2. I've never used that in my life in the HVK. Yeah. I couldn't, <laughs> dude. I was Chivas, Man of Wars, Kudas. Like, just remember, it's summer, 2005. You want to run fast, you pull out your pistol and that's as fast as you're gonna go that's that's call of duty you didn't even baby. run back then no you just yeah, walk, you walk, walk fast yeah, that's, awesome. <laughs> that's awesome call of duty should be a two-year game cycle mm. it depends on the game because if it's a good game i agree yeah. if it's a bad game i disagree mm. so i'll say i, I yeah. would agree with that. i'm gonna be neutral i'm gonna be neutral because like yeah, I, I, like I could argue both sides it could be the best thing ever it could be catastrophic i mean it I could just kill like, like imagine mw 2019 for two years in a row oh and then imagine this past year for two years, two years in a row, not bad. MW, uh, MW two for two years. I think oh. you're looking at it wrong. Imagine, imagine. Let's Dude, say if this. If I had to watch another invasion control scrim for another year, what about Cold War <laughs> for two years? See, Cold that's, War, if they added Cold new maps and stuff, game. that would be like acceptable. Yeah, but you got to look at the other side of that. Like, what if you go from a really good two year cycle because the game's awesome, and then you go into some fucking IW shit? Well, Which I will I, say, I, I played maybe like maybe 15 minutes of IW <laughs> because when IW came out. <laughs> The E Rad. Modern Warfare <laughs> Remastered came out. Best fucking Call of Duty of all time. S my D. Tupac Thug Lore with Soundhorn and MW see? Remastered. Oh, cranked. That was top three. Ah, see, that's, what, that's, what, that's the only time we lost. That's what, playing dishonorable men. Content creators and pro players should not whine about game changes. The developers are the reason they have a job. What? Shit, hold on. <laughs> Fuck. Pretty bad. I mean, uh, wine is crazy. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, there could be constructive criticism yeah. always. It's like, <laughs> yeah, it's like we play your game so much. Yeah, we, I'm we, a wine all day. Yeah. I feel like yeah. the, the only wine I think is acceptable is like when people like they do a change that's like 
not necessary. Like, like no random. one asked for it. Nobody asked about it. Like nobody you don't asked. Fix what's not broken. Like they made the what the M4 like or whatever gun we used last year the ACR like four bullets for no reason. It was like <laughs> the meta was perfect. Yeah. Nobody asked for the a, a, like the AR to kill faster. It just randomly did, and I'm like, I feel like stuff like that is just acceptable to be whiny about. Now I think we know like what well, it, what what is reasonable to yeah. to cry about. Yeah. Like the hard point changes on maps, like they I made no sense. Yeah, and then they reverted them. Well, back or, in the day too. Rid of them. Back in the day, like I it wasn't about like it is now. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. now, you guys can play an old patch for a while. Back then, you were going to an event and playing a different game sometimes because you couldn't play prior patch. Like it was just four so, days before an event. Exactly. Huge update. So like that definitely deserves to play. Dude, that happened all the time. Hundred playstations. We had to update. <laughs> you know, through the night. Oh my on, gosh. On on that internet too. So it just. The, the, the Apicella squad was about 24 times in the hours. World, though. I... I'm neutral only because I can argue both sides. Call of Duty is worth $70 every year. I get, out, I, get, I get enough play dollars? out of it. I get enough play out of it. Uh... Does it need to be though? Okay. I'm gonna be neutral. I'm gonna be yeah, neutral. Yeah, that's why I was going neutral. I'm, I'm like, be, yeah, I'm going neutral. I feel like the games nowadays. I, I, I feel like we were talking about the microtransactions. Like, I feel like the free games. Like, if you just add, if you want to make money, you just. Add a seventy seventy dollar bundle. Yeah, and, make a good and game, that's where you and make, then, yeah, that's where you make your money. Because I feel like all the all the, I mean, Warzone's free. Like lit Warzone games. Is free. Warzone's free. Fucking Call of Duty Online is free. And I mean, in, but you, you just have to think China. about like in terms of Call of Duty. I mean, it's kind of different for us, but like the first two months of the game, like you are getting so much content out of that. I think it's worth. Okay. See, actually, I think worth is, is like a different word than need because I feel like it don't bucks. need to be, but I think I it's mean, worth the seventy. Dude, you're getting so much. You you do your race. You 100%. do race to You do yeah. your race to level up, and then you go for the mastery camo. And then if you're a competitive player, you're playing SND and stuff. But what if you're not? What if the majority of the people which do exist are they not? Have, yeah. Is it worth it for them? They they do the I do, I the so. camo mastery. They level yeah. up. Like I think it's worth it. You get okay. enough entertainment out of it. You get a lot of you get a lot of content. One. Yeah, out of a hundred percent hours on end. If anything, yeah, it's literally a time. Slot. I think it's worth it's it. definitely more worth. I, I'm moving to agree. It's more worth than most games you'll pay seventy dollars for nowadays. Like Kenny, I can fight both sides because if you just do a seventy dollar <laughs> bundle or fucking, you know, it's, it's just easy. All right, that's the last one, but I'll give you guys like 30 seconds while you're here. Is there any statements that you guys want to say that you can debate amongst each other? Any opinions about I'll give, Call I'll give, of Duty? I'll give a simple one. Uh, 5v5 is better for competitive than 4v4. Hell Ooh. no. Oh, no. Ooh, I'm going to tell you what. I'm going to be neutral on this one because I, I see the benefits. As an, as an ore owner, it's, it's more expensive. Why'd you go over there and start walking back in? Dude, the, you well, because well, I, I made my statement. Yes. I was jumping and disagree. Oh, okay. And yeah. I walked back in. Oh. I, I made the statement, but I'll stay neutral because I think Black, Black Ops 4 was so godlike, but I don't know if it was because yeah. it was 5v5 or like, because we I never played 4v4, so I don't really know how the game would play 4v4. I don't yeah. know if it would have worked 4v4. That's like, why after, I think. So you think 5v5 it? was the reason it was good? Yeah, like I think after playing BO4, like if it wasn't 5v5, like imagine playing some of those maps 4 Imagine playing, uh, what was the big ass map? Seaside? It'd be a little slower. Seaside Seaside feel, imagine yeah. playing Super that shit 4v4, dude. You wouldn't get in fights like yeah. for but a minute. I feel like the next year was kind of like what killed the 5v5. 2019 would have been better 4v4, though, than yeah, 5v5. Yes, yeah. 2019 would have been better. Okay. Four. So maybe neutral's the better? I don't know. We don't have a big enough sample size. That's what I'm size. saying. I, I don't That's why I, That was the first thing that came to my mind when he asked. Yeah, I'm going to say neutral because we don't know if Black Ops 6 is going to be the best game. And we haven't had enough time. The same way that we had didn't have a second year to kill the momentum yeah. of the five. If we would have given the two-year cycle, maybe. All right, slums is overrated. The hell? <laughs> agree. I would agree on that. Yeah, just a map that <laughs> oh, wait, I disagree. No, I'm disagree. I would really? agree on that one. Yeah, I, I love slums. Slums is overrated. Slums is... Uh, slums? You just had one, one crazy streak with PDW. I love slums. Yo, what's your quarrel with slums? I just think it's a little overrated. Nah. I still enjoyed it, but it's overrated. Everyone talks about it like it's so like a top three map. Because I don't feel like walking over there. No. Oh. <laughs> nah, I, I got to disagree. Black Ops 2 slums, man. Mm. I'll agree. I'll scope. I'll I think other maps no. are better. Yeah. Blista. I, 